Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Hamdog Hype, and welcome back to my RuneScape uh, adventure kind of thing. And today I want to do a little different kind of video. I started the Pay Your Dues series, and I um, I kind of hinted at a video that would be coming out, also related to RuneScape, in that video itself. That was not a part of the series. And that's basically me like getting a bunch of hill giant kills. I just started this uh, account, so I'm still free to play. And yeah, so my goal was to originally get 1,000, get a loot from 1,000 hill giants. Like that was the original goal. But it was, I started this about maybe a week ago and like it was so competitive and annoying. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, wow, this is taking so long um, because there's literally so many people at hill giants and the experience rate is so slow. And I wanted to train my prayer. So I decided uh, instead of 1,000, I'll just get 500. Why not? So I had about 519, I just buried 19 uh, bones, and I'm like, fuck it. Cause a lot of the shit didn't even give me some stuff anyway. Plus it's trash regardless. So now I can work on other things like mining and stuff, for real money. But this is all the loot that I got. But I also got 33 of these. And I know that's 33 because I had about 3900 before. before. So let's just take out all this real quick. So this is like all the loot. Um, I got a bunch of emeralds from emeralds and sapphires and rupees from mining, but I try to keep those separate as much as possible. Maybe one sapphire slipped in. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm good. So yeah, as you can see, I got the 500 bones. I got a bunch of limpwort roots, which are awesome. These are gonna sell for a lot. Got a bunch of beers, uh, armor, and some weapons. Uh, of course, the gemstones. A bunch of arrows. <clears throat> Excuse me. I tried not to um, take anybody else's arrows that was like maybe ranging or something. So I think I did pretty well with that. I tried not picking up anybody else's bones or anybody else's items. That was really hard to do, especially when it was stacked. Also, I got about 7K. I, it was a little more than 7K, but just to underestimate, I got about 7K from the 500 bones. Um, that's just like, I did a ratio of how many, how many uh, coins I got per um, set of bones and I just kind of like multiplied it out and I, I figured out a thousand would be a thousand big bones would give you about 15k but I also want to underestimate a little bit just because I don't want to overestimate for the sake of this video so yeah let's just take out everything and see how much it's worth okay now that I have everything out I can kind of just check it out but before we do do that I just want to mention all the stats I had before I started killing all these 500 giants it was a little over 500 and uh, yeah, so my stats were about 20 in each. I'll have a picture put up like right now, but they were about 20 each for like the combat stats. My highest one was defense for some reason. And I had a sh like a shit ton of experience in uh, fishing and cooking at, for like the amount of time I played. That was a lot of experience. And I had about 28, um, 28 rune crafting. And that's pretty much really the, besides rune, besides all the other ones, Rune crafting and mining, and of course the combat one, uh, combat uh, skills were the only ones that went up. So as you can see now, uh, compared to all that, I have over 30 pretty much. I have 30 in these, but 40 in that, 40 in this. This one only went up once because I like I used to pick up people's bones that they didn't drop, that they didn't pick up, and I'd, I'd bury them myself. As you can see, magic did not go up. Um, yeah, but only really mining and uh, rune crafting went up. Like in the meantime, the reason why it took me a week to get 500 is because in the meantime I'd be mining, I'd be rune crafting, and I rune crafted mine runes mostly, and then air runes, and mine runes take a shit ton of time. So yeah, I don't think I did much otherwise, not that I could see at least. But yeah, anyway, now for the grand finale, let's see how much this is worth when you estimate it out in like the price checker thing. Because I'm definitely going to be selling these for a lot less. Holy crap, that's a lot more than I thought it would be. Wow, okay, I, I originally was under the impression that a thousand big bones would only give me about 600k. But a thousand big bones, I, I see, multiplied this by two would give me about 800k. So this is actually a lot. Interesting. But it, I'm only going to come out with about 300k anyway. After selling everything, of course. So let's go ahead and sell everything. Uh, what do I want to sell these at? Let's see if these sell right away at this price. Wow, they did! Oh my god, and I made more! Oh shit. Okay, okay, so far so good. I know Limpwort Roots aren't gonna sell right away. Yeah, I'll just leave those in there for now. 
Uh, those aren't gonna sell right away. Oh wow, they actually sold. Well, minimum. Wow, what the heck? I made like twice as much. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, iron. Uh, well, people are gonna buy iron because of the splashing, but they're gonna buy the sets more, so this might not sell very easily. I'm just gonna skip all the way to the end of the selling. So as you can see, we're pretty much winding down to the the ba the last stuff, and yeah, as you can see, it's not gonna be m much more than 300k, like at all. Which is alright. I mean, this is still a lot of money for only 500 giants. But, I mean, for the time it took, it's not that great. But, still, whatever. Okay, well, we might manage to get, like, a little under 400k. So, yeah, I had to minimize the price a little bit, but that's 395k from 500 giants. So, let's just do the math real quick. Pull up my little calculator. Okay, so per giant, that's actually a dot, believe it or not. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. But per giant, we made about 791 GP. 792 to round up. But yeah, um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, that's really not bad, considering how fast they are once you get to like a really high level. And the reason why I trained my... Um, attack first was because I wanted to be able to hold my pickaxe but you can really train it any way you want it at hill giants and the reason why I made this video is because hill giants are really like the only good place for free to play players to make money with combat if you really think about it besides like moss giants and ice giants which can be also crowded and heavily botted not to mention holy crap look at all these people this is so cool having runescape like this again but yeah, originally it was supposed to be a thousand, so just multiply this by two, so it would be a little under 800k, which is still really, really good considering like a thousand kills, how fast they are. With the bots, of course, you'll just have to figure out which level it, or which world is uh, less packed. But yeah, it's it's not terrible. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, you know, just if you're free to play and you're going back to old school RuneScape like I am, just you know. You gotta like, like my pay your dues series, you really have to pay your dues. You have to go through everything, like the cow hides, the hill giants, everything, and just to make money. But um, just FYI, it's a lot more profitable to be making money through mining. And I know it's heavily botted, but you can go to other places like uh, below Edgeville. Uh, that used to be a popular place, but now the really popular place with bots now is um, below Drainer. You can also craft for money. Um, of course, you can sell the bones. That's great too, but it's a little bit tedious with all the people there and having to compete. Another great money maker is fishing and cooking. Well, two great money makers in one. If you want, you can just fish everything and sell it, like lobsters, swordfish, and whatever. Or, you, if you're like level 60 something fishing, I forget exactly what it is, you can just buy a bunch of uh, raw tuna, cook it, and sell it back, and you won't burn any. And it's really convenient if you're like level 66, I believe. You can cook it on these things. Write the G, buy it, cook it right here, and sell it back. And it's like 20 GP more. So there's a lot a lot of better things you can do than combat and free-to-play. Which is unfortunate because they don't have any bosses. But yeah, enough talking. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. The final verdict is about 793 GP, 92 GP, excuse me. 792 GP per hill giant. And in 500 kills, I got about 395k. So, whatever you uh, whatever you do, just um, just know that you're gonna have to work really hard to make money. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see you around. Peace out.